What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? No, I'm just kidding. But by the title of this video, you guys already know that I am doing a review on Jeffree Star. Now I've been wanting his products and I kind of just held off just because of the allegations and I'm like, Maria, what the heck? Try his products. People change over time and just give him a chance. So I always in the back of my mind was like, I'd scroll through Instagram and see his products and I'm like, dang, I really want it because he puts so much effort into his products. So today I decided to do a review on all the things that I got and I do look crazy. I got one eye done. Thank you to those who have subscribed and kept liking my videos. Keep subscribing, y'all. No, just kidding. I suck at posting. It's always school, man. But I got MEA break. I filmed I filmed two videos, but I didn't really like the first one. And I'm like, do the review. And now I'm here. So if you guys want to watch the video, then just keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you already saw, I did get a mirror. I had to get a mirror. I've been wanting a mirror forever. I always see him like doing all this in his videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, he brings up so many different colors, but blue is my favorite color, like turquoise. This is blue, turquoise. I don't know. Caught my eyes. I wanted this in a purple one. I got this one. I might get the purple one later and the pink one. Like, come on. You can't have enough mirrors. Um, but yeah, it's star mirror. It's actually pretty big. I thought it I, I thought it wouldn't be that big, but it is pretty big and I love it. I always use it with my makeup and it's not as heavy either, so it's very convenient. Um, this was 20 bucks, so a little bit pricey, but again, it's pretty authentic shape, star shape. You can't beat that. I also got one of his Skin Frost highlighters and then this is in the shade King Tut, I believe. Yeah, King Tut. Um, his highlighters are always highly reviewed and everything and I think these retail for $29 but these are very huge when I first opened them I'm like oh my god I don't think I've ever seen a highlighter that this is it's this huge for just a singular highlighter and it looks like this it has his star logo right there it's very pink I love it and it's huge humongous I did swatch it and it looks beautiful so I can't wait to try it. I also got one of his lip ammunition lipsticks and I got the shade Baby Spice. So the packaging looks like this, pink, very authentic to him and his line. And then it looks like a cute little bullet. And then, so yeah, pretty standard lipstick. I love the packaging. His packaging to everything is awesome. And finally, the big baby. I He launched this last February, and it's been very hard to get your hands on, especially since it is it is a pricier palette, but also a lot of people are constantly buying this palette because they love it so much. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys already know it's the Blood Sugar palette. So it did come with this little casing right here so blood sugar and everything thing that caught to my attention was obviously the packaging the packaging is so unique it's like a little case it is a little bit bulkier but I do not mind it at all I have extra space to store it and it looks like this it has a big huge mirror his logo and some shades so I did one eye already and I must say his shades are very buildable and blendable um, I don't know if it's gonna end up leaving the eyeshadow residue um, and staining my eyes But he did mention in his video last February that it does stain your eyes and my eyes do get to tend Do tend to stain with other palettes and shades that I've used before so it's probably gonna stain my eyes. I will be going in with prick Right here. The nice thing about this palette is the color scheme you guys. It's it's awesome. It's I love it. it has your shimmer shades your neutrals your brights your white but it's pretty awesome you can definitely go for a lot of looks with this palette even if you don't want to use the brights or the neutrals i'm gonna be taking a morphe m433 brush and blend it out and i'm not gonna extend it all the way i'm only gonna do halfway so i am gonna be blending two colors two shades in So 
So that was literally one swipe. Um, dipping my brush in once and that is awesome for the pigmentation it extends out like almost half of my lid so now with a morphe m44 brush i am going to be taking the shade cavity it does have glitter in it it probably just makes it easier to blend out um but i don't mind you can't really tell that it has a lot it doesn't have a lot of glimmer it's not like or glitter it's not like a full glitter pigment which is nice um but cavity looks like this it's a bright pink one and then i'm just going to use it on the other half of my lid and blend those two shades together so next i am going to clean the shadow with tart shape tape and just make a cut crease So now that I did that with the concealer, I am going to go in with one of the lighter shades right here, Shurikane, right next to the white to set that in place. Now that that is done, I am going to go in with an angled brush. It's kind of tiny, just a tiny little angled brush, and I am going to go in with the shade Coma right here. It's kind of like a deep purple plumish color and I'm just gonna create a winged liner like I would normally do with a liquid liner So it looks like this. If you do mess up this part, you can always go back and clean it with concealer. I usually do. But after that, for my waterline, I will be using Root Canal, which is this one right here. I have to say this one might be my favorite shade. I don't know why. I really, really like it. I don't think I've had a purple like that. Also with the rest, um, after I blend that out, I am just going to go over the other shade and kind of just smudge it out a little bit. So now that that is done, I am going to be using this NYX um, liquid liner in white. So I did kind of just follow the um, concealer that I did earlier and outline that cut crease and I also just did a little line right here. I didn't connect them, I didn't want to connect them. Now using one of the heavy metals um, glitters from Urban Decay, I am going to be using Glam Rock. I'm just going to be putting in a little bit of glitter in the inner portion of the wing liner that I created. So I am going to be using clear mascara. Y'all already know that unless I'm going out to an actual event, not work, I don't put mascara on just because I don't like ruining my lashes. I love how they look when I actually do put mascara on. This palette is awesome. I didn't do any neutrals today, but I probably will do another look using the neutrals and maybe even the glitters that are in there, but I freaking love it you guys i am so excited that i ended up in a while and i just got it dirty with concealer <sighs> oh but it's very cleanable so it's awesome get it it's gucci i love it one of my new favorite palettes i can't wait for his new palette he is launching another one in november pretty soon <sighs> my money next i am gonna go in with 
Decaying Tut for the highlighter. And I will be putting it on my inner corner and under my brow bone too. So literally, you guys, that is without any sort of setting spray. I am going to put in a little bit of setting spray just because I like that very wet glow. And last, we got his lip ammunition. And then this is in the shade Baby Spice once again. Holy moly, talk about a pretty ass pink. I love pink vibrant colors I don't care if it's not winter I don't care if it's not summer I love vibrant colors so yeah this is the completed look I have to say I am not disappointed in any of these products I love them all I definitely recommend you guys getting some of this um, out of all the things that I use today get the palette for sure the palette is pretty pricey but it's worth it if you made it this far thank you for watching the video don't forget to maybe thumbs this video up like it subscribe if y'all want to and i will see you in the next video bye guys